Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. Um, I just thought I'd do a little video about my uh, Domeo, Domeo, Domeo uh, Ripper purchase. Just received it this morning in the post uh, via Royal Mail. Uh, I ordered it in October, so um, by all accounts, uh, looking at the forums on, on the Facebook pages and, and, and whatnot. That's pretty good, to be honest. It's, I've heard of people waiting uh, quite a while to, to receive their their ripper. <clears throat> Must admit, I did email them a few times after I found out that uh, I might not be getting it soon. And I, it was just a, a, a whim purchase in October marketer's dream I suppose I, I, I saw the advert on Facebook or Instagram or whatever clicked on it thought ah that looks pretty cool looks like a cool product I'll give it a go <coughs> um, and uh, well after a, few, after a month or so I thought well here we go maybe it's a scam <laughs> um, but uh, you know doing some research, found out that they weren't a scam. They just seemed to be struggling with fulfilling their orders. Um, and lo and behold, bomb. Anyway, that's all in the past. It's arrived. So <coughs> it came, to be honest, a bit strange. You can see I've opened it to see what it was because I thought it was a guitar pickup that I'm waiting for. But uh, it came with this on it. Customs fee to pay. Um... Then this long tome on the side of the box. £16.57 VAT. Plus a um, Royal Mail handling fee of £25. Um, this package cannot be delivered until the charges are paid. I'm assuming they paid it. Right, I didn't pay it. And Mr Postman forgot to collect the VAT from me. I don't know. I'm not an expert on international shipping, to be honest. Um, so, yes, I've opened it, but I haven't opened it, opened it. <coughs> Thought I'd leave that and finish for, for unboxing. Um, well, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold. Uh, on first glance, looks pretty good. Nice packaging. 360 audio for your helmet. <laughs> to you, all you um, English speaking people out there. For now, for now. Do, 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 do. Works like you know, traditional speakers work by blah blah blah. La la la. Bit of damage on the box. Not that bothered. Right, just get into it. Who cares about the box, eh? Yeah, quite fancy. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice magnetic, high quality box there. Paperwork. Uh, quick setup guide. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Standard one new warranty. Have fun. Right, okay, let's give it a go then. So we've got, let's start with the boring stuff, uh, USB lead, standard, standard, cheap, cheap, cheap USB lead, we've got, oh, we've got two, two mounting, two mounting brackets. And the main event, the Ripper itself. This box is quite nice. It's this high density foam type stuff. Might be able to have a use for that. Right. Uh, I'm looking at this through the camera lens, which kind of helps me a bit, but yeah. <laughs> Does that look new to you?
stuck on very well. This certainly looks like it's run through the mill a little bit. What that is, that's a speaker, I think. What do you reckon, guys? Kind of looks second hand to me. Dirty. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got dust in it. Chargy. Sorry about this. I'll get my tripod out in a bit and do it properly. Yeah. That looks... It doesn't really come across in the camera, but in, in with my... Uh, with my eyes... That looks like an old USB socket. Yeah, it looked brand new. It's all scuffed up as well. That doesn't shut very well either. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. A fix and wait 30 minutes before inserting Domio. Warning, do not apply if helmet is cold. <laughs> well. <laughs> Already uh, pre-emptied uh, that one. So what I'll do, I'll give it a bit of a charge because I'm not sure how much charge it's got in the box. Uh, I'll get the tripods and we'll go and try and stick it on my lid. Alright, see you in a bit. <clears throat> right back, uh, I've warmed my helmet up. <laughs> uh, and I've taken the liberty of um, switching it on, hooking it up to my phone. That was all quite easy. I gave it sort of 15 minutes charge, and when you switch it on, it says blue uh, battery high. Uh, when I switched it on earlier, it said battery medium, so I'm guessing when it gets low, it's going to say battery low, but uh, we're all up and running, it's all hooked up. Um, right, my helmet is just, uh, this a Giro helmet, pretty generic, um, is that a dent? treat myself to a new one I think for this season don't tell Mrs uh, Mrs G <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna I've got the gimbal out so I'm not very good with a gimbal so bear with me um, let's just turn that heater off don't need it now that's better isn't it okay so on first impressions here is the uh, sticky pad and the clip attachment -y thing. Pretty flexible, so I'm guessing it's gonna, within reason, flex around mini, yeah, on the helmet sort of area. Um, thinking about it, my goggle strap is gonna run somewhere around this area isn't it and around the back here um some more dense so all of this area is kind of out of uh, no go area isn't it really so i'm gonna have to confine it to this area here i think um this area on the back here somewhere. These are just silly little stickers that the lads stack on me, stuck on me. Lead one year. Um, don't do anything. So I've got this area here in between the vents. 
uh, if I spin it around, we've got a nice flat area here um, to, to fit, uh, sorry, one-handed, to fit this, I suppose it'll go something like that, it won't fit on the front, so one there, good, uh, thing is if I lift my helmet if I lift the uh, goggles up then I don't want a chance of knocking the uh, the domio off I could take my favorite Pell Jam sticker off it's been stuck on really badly anyway so I could put it there I suppose uh, I'm gonna <coughs> it comes down to um, a sound test isn't it really and truly whereabouts it sounds sounds the best um, I've already pre-queued up some music for um, uh, from my band, Firewild Music. Get them on YouTube, or Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. Firewild the band, Firewild Music. Uh, so we've got volume up, volume down. And power, and I, this, this, I'm guessing is play and pause. Okay, guys, uh, sorry about that. I had a bit of a reset. Uh, turns out, me being an idiot, you can't Bluetooth um, music, play Bluetooth music, sorry, uh, over your iPhone and use a camera at the same time. Uh, so I've reset. I've uh, Bluetoothed this to my iPad now, so uh, all the music you'll hear is playing through my iPad um, through the Domio. That's the same difference as an iPhone. Uh, and we'll go, we'll go from there. Uh, we've got YouTube. In case you're listening, I'm sure you're gonna moan at this. But uh, Firewild is my band, so it's our music. So, don't penalise me for playing my own music on YouTube. Although I didn't write it. That's the talented Scott Ewings of Firewall Band. And the guys that play it. I just twiddle the knobs and <laughs> do the sound. Lug the gear around. But here we go. Enough talking. Ooh. Right, so that's hit the maximum volume. Notice something, guys? Sorry, Scott, pausing your mid solo. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. That's loud. That's loud without it even going on the uh, helmet. I'm not 100% sure I'd want to ski around uh, with <laughs> that blaring out. It's like the old days of the 80s, skiing around with, um, with a cassette recorder jobby boombox on your shoulder like we used to. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see if having it on the helmet makes any difference. Got a plane. So if you hit the power button in the middle, we got a plane, a pause function. 
uh, and obviously with the with the uh, the volume up and down as well. So they're quite easy to get out. Um, right. Give me two ticks, guys. I'm gonna put my helmet on uh, and move the dummy around a little bit and see if I can find the best position for uh, for sound. And I'll get back to you. Oops, sorry. Right, okay. Yeah. I really, really wanted to like this because this would have been a fantastic solution for me. Uh, this sounds awful. <laughs> uh, it's got bass, a bits of bass, you know, no more than a pair of Apple uh, earbuds, earpods, whatever. Um, it sounded okay there. Try and get a better view. There, you know. Kind is gonna impede where you know if you lift your goggles up, is it gonna knock it out of the cradle? Probably not. That cradle sink that sticks on seems pretty secure once it's in, but um, it was okay here. It was actually better here around the back. Um, but it doesn't sit, doesn't sit very well there. That's the important bit there, the speaker, I suppose. Kind of sits flat, but yeah. Obviously I can't put it there because that's where the goggle strap's gonna go, which is a shame because it sounded really good there as well. Uh, granted, it's a bit of a funny shaped lid, curvy, but We've got these odd sort of straight line bits around it. Maybe it's time for a new helmet. I don't know. But I'm certainly not going to buy, spend a few hundred quid on a new helmet on, on the basis of this, I'm afraid. So, you know, if I turn it down to a volume where it's acceptable to, you know, have on in a ski lift maybe or, or you know a bubble lift or something this is going to be that if you can hear that you can't hear it in the helmet anyway so you might as well just switch it off uh i'm guessing the only way to hear it when you're skiing is is to have it sort of but you would hear a bit more Scott think I'm just going to stick to my trusty chips, wired ones. Um, I might upgrade and get the Bluetooth versions. These I found brilliant. I know people have struggled a little bit with uh, the buttons on them sometimes. Um, my mate's got a pair. Um, His buttons are gone on his, but I've had these, oh crikey, three or four years now. This will probably be the, the fourth season. Um, and I love them, you know, they're really, really good. There's the on off button. So, <coughs> excuse me, when you've got them in your lid, uh, you can play and pause just by pushing, tapping your ear. You might look like a bit of an idiot, but not as much of an idiot as having that stuck on your helmet. Mm. I don't know. 
I'm fat, 48-year-old, middle-class guy. What do I care what I look like on the slopes? But um, I've never really been one for the GoPros on the helmet. This one's got an attachment on the front. I can put the little jobby on for my little GoPro. Uh, I do do it sometimes, but... Um, obviously, with these ear chips, you need to have the uh, the uh, ear pads that will accept them. Uh, I have. The reason I bought this in the first place is that I wanted to upgrade my helmet, get a new helmet, because this is a few years old now. Um, and the, the number of helmets with, with these kind of ear pads in, or, or you're able to swap them out for ear pads that will accept chips are quite limiting uh, so I thought I'd go for something like this that should fit on any helmet um, but hey maybe I was wrong uh, I've got me some earbuds Apple ear jobbies pods things I might just use those uh, same but uh, if you've got any questions Drop them in the, uh, in, in the below and I'll try and answer them. Uh, I think I'm going to put these up for sale. So this up for sale. So I'm not saying it's not for everyone. Nah. It does what it says on the tin. Sounds not brilliant. But you can hear around while it's, while it's on. So, you know, this might work for someone. If you want a cheap Domio Ripper, then hit me up in the comments below. And I'll, um, and I'll contact you and we'll, we'll do a deal. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.